Hello and welcome to RC Hacker. Now today I've got here a LRS system, a long range system, open LRS. 433 MHz, they're both receiving units here, this is just the same one with the um, stickers all pulled off. Um, based on the Hope RF RFM 22B module and it's got an AT Mega 328 on there and it's all Arduino compatible. Um, the original ver version of this is a red board. Have a look at flytron.com. Um, of course, Hobby King have made their own design and undercut them on price. But of course, like all Hobby King stuff, you don't get any support and it relies on the original guy's support and they probably won't support you. Blah, 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 blah. So why am I doing this video anyway? Well, I'm going to do my own mods to this and put other firmware on this as well. So there's another version of the firmware for this called OpenLRSNG. Yeah, I know it's confusing. And I want to mod that and hack that so it will spit out an FRSky protocol for the telemetry so I can see my telemetry on the screen, the same as the way I use my, um, my existing FR Sky gear, so I can just switch between the two radio systems. Uh, the antenna here, it's uh, that's a normal helical antenna. Okay, that's 433 megahertz. Um, I have said helical. It's different to the axial helical antenna, which you might have seen. I'd be crazy. It's got designs for. Um, I'm going to use these antennas to start with and hopefully do the whole range test, the same that I did for the FR Sky Gear. Um, yeah, so if you want to look at the original stuff, the better quality stuff than probably what this is, um, slightly more, have a look at the Flytron website. He's also got versions of this that with a multi rotor controller integrated and um, Futaba modules and stuff like that. So, um, I'll move on. I'm going to start. I want to install this because both of these can be programmed as either a receiver or a transmitter. I want to program one of these as a receiver and I'm going to put it inside here somehow. If I've got room, and then I'll go through programming them and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's go. Okay, so this is inside my 9X, which has got the FR Sky DHT module there. I've got the uh, a six position switch mod that I've done there. I've got the ISP header there for programming um, Open9X and all that. I've got links and stuff. Actually, I think I've got a link to a whole playlist. No, they're articles. Sorry, I've got a link to an article on all these mods. Now, this is the next mod, and I think I'm going to stick this um, LRS module. I want to put it about there. That way I won't have to worry about any pigtails or anything like that, connections to the antenna. And I'll just be able to pop that antenna straight on there, on that connector like that. Um, ideally I want this up as high as possible. Um, just on, you may notice already that I've broken off, I've got the, the two screw mountings here. I've broken this side off in order for this to be able to fit, just to give it a bit more room. And I'm going to have to, likewise, I'm going to have to cut this one down, cut this little bit. Um, that's just a mount hole for the old, for the old um, FM antenna that used to go on here. So I'm going to cut that one off. And I might even cut this whole big part off the top here as well. So case is going to get a, bit of, get a bit ugly, but, you know, we're hacking, eh? So, let's go. Okay, so I've start, decided I'm not going to video this whole process entirely and just show you bits and pieces. Now, this is one of the parts I've got out of my little box of um, spare bits. It's a red and green LED, hence the three leads. One's, um, one's ground, the other two are the, um, well, the anode and cathode. And I, I tested this on 3.3 volts, so I got the right intensity for the LEDs for the um, different colours. So I went with 120 ohms for the green side, 380 ohms for the red side. That's driving it at 3.3 volts. So that's going to be... I'm going to this... Because this is being used as the receiver, 
there's a whole lot of ports that are going to be spare on that and then I can just reconfigure it in software so I wanted an LED or I could see the state of it now that LED is going to be mounted on the front here where that where that hole is and I've also put a switch here it's just a simple um, momentary push button switch and that will be connect, connected to one of the other pins um, if we can see down in there we've got our I've, um, I've put some nice big dabs of solder on the pins there drilled holes and stuck that uh, switch on there so that'll be our bind switch basically and then I found this other switch here is that going to focus this is a, a dual pole dual terminal I think so this will let me switch between switch the power between the FR Sky gear and the Open LRS and I haven't decided which other signal I'll switch here either the PPM signal or um, the TX signal one of the two um, I might be able to get away with not doing either I've got to experiment there so um, yeah and that switch I'm going to mount it somewhere in here sticking through the top I want this as discreet as possible. This is not the kind of switch you want to switch accidentally while you're in flight because, of course, you lose reception. You don't want that. Okay, so moving on. A little bit, a bit of work later, I've got, I've got my little um, switch there. That'll switch between the FR Sky and the Open LRS. And I've got here, I've got these, these red wires will be for the power, so I can switch the power, one one's, comes from the battery and one goes to the FR Sky, one goes to the Open LRS. I've got my these two leads over here, are the um, red and green parts of the LED, and I've got a brown lead here, that will be for my switch, and then the other three wires here, the orange ones and the white ones, I've left plenty of length on a couple of them so I can go all the way down to the main board if I need to and um, this one hook up to the open LRS and this one to the FR Sky and then this one here to whatever signal I want to switch whether that's the um, PPM signal or the probably the TX signal um, I've just got to work out a couple of them I can just hook up together and not switch them because when it's powered down so I've just got to experiment with that and we'll decide exactly where I'm going to wire those up later and now the the open LRS board I've left the um, I've put a bit of the uh, foam padding that came with it on the bottom there and this will then mount I'm going to glue it in with lots of hot glue and that'll sit about there so all the pins will be nice and accessible so I can configure it the way I need to my ISP header and my um, serial header I, can, I think I can use either for programming and um, yeah that's the plan so right moving on now one lead I don't know if anyone noticed that I missed it was a ground lead now I don't know if you can see that it's down on the base there I had another wire connecting um, this also connects to the other side of the switch and the LEDs of course okay I was scratching my head a bit as to why I didn't see any LEDs and I'd forgotten to hook up I'd forgotten to hook up the ground of course I had that ground lead coming from um, my switch and LED but it wasn't hooked into the rest of the circuit anyhow so here it is now now we've got our ground hooked up so let's power it up again and try see if we can um, do the smoke test so turn the power switch on at the bottom now that's good and there we go it's alive perfect so um, that's good um, I'm still running 
the stock firmware on this and of course I'm going to blow it away and put uh, TX firmware on that so before I do any more wiring I'm going to update the firmware okay I've really skipped ahead here this is I'm, I'm finishing this last clip quite a number of weeks later and since then I've added another LED because I found the bicolor LED I just could not see that very well in the day I've also added here if I can pull him out he's tucked away down there I've got a um, this is a buzzer it's a buzzer from KK2 and that's driven by a transistor here as well and I've added an extra switch as well so I can switch the um, telemetry signals much like the way the telemetry works on the FR Sky module um, the new version version 3 of the OpenLRS NG firmware has the ability to output the um, FR Sky style telemetry so that means I can get my telemetry readings I'm going to turn it on now uh, I can get the telemetry readings on the screen here in exactly the same way as you do the FR Sky stuff and that works really great so now all I need to do to switch modes is just switch that switch and 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 this one you could probably put it all on one switch if you had a four pole dual terminal switch or is it dual pole four terminal but you could probably put it all on one but this is this is just what I had on hand and for those interested in pursuing this yourself I'll say this that you do need a little bit of knowledge in electronics all the information's available on the web if you Google, Google a bit um, and you do need to modify the source code to you know output the LEDs on these other pins instead of to the LEDs on the board etc so I'll put a link in the uh, description of this video to my uh, little fork of the OpenLRS NG firmware and that's I maintain that just for myself so I can uh, you know I don't have to worry too much when I want to reflash this and I can sort of keep it in sync with the main branch so if you want to go that way great but I strongly suggest just get a module plug it in the back and if you want the antenna coming out the front reroute some coax and put an antenna mount on the top there much much easier anyway cheers thanks for watching I uh, expect a few more open LRS videos coming soon so yeah thanks for watching cheers